I'm Miss Riley, and this is my second grade class at Ridge Elementary, and we are so glad that you're here today. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ronick, Innovative Learning Coach, and welcome to Candyland. We transfer, transformed our room into Candyland, and we're going to engage in fun candy-themed centers today. Okay, boys and girls, before we start our centers, we're going to do our Which One Doesn't Belong. Thumbs up if you remember. I'm gonna give you a moment just to look at our pictures. We have four different pictures. And remember, we're picking the one that we wanna get rid of. We think it should go away. The important part is that we are able to defend our answer. Because we've done this before. We know that there's not one right answer. As long as you can explain why we wanna get rid of it, then that's right. So I want you to look at the picture. When you have an idea of which one you want to get rid of, I want you to put your thumb under your chin. I'm going to give you a moment just to look. We're getting an idea in our head first. So that's great, we have an idea in our head. Before we talk about it, we're gonna do our lineup. And we're gonna line up in front of our buddy. Give me a thumbs up if we remember who our buddy is. Awesome, if you don't remember, it's on our chart, on the board, okay? If your buddy's not here, then you can be a buddy with me or Mrs. Rownack. We'll line up in front of you, okay? We had an idea in our head of which one we wanted to get rid of. Remember, we need to explain why we're getting rid of that set of candy. All right, I want you to talk to your buddy. and we were defending our answers. We're gonna come and sit back down on the carpet and we're gonna share. So give me two thumbs under your chin if you want to share your answer. Allie. I think that one because there's a big amount of and there's a small amount of toys. Awesome, I saw some Me Too's. Who has a different explanation or a different one that they wanna get rid of? Nora. Did we hear what she said? It's the only <coughs> one that's odd, so all of these have an even amount? Okay. Kinda. I think the one won't be because, the, because the, it's the only one will be next to each other, and they'll line up. So all of the Twix are together, all of the Snickers are together. Okay. Anybody else want to share theirs? Great. I loved our explanations for this. Now we're going to get ready to do our centers. And remember, our centers are reviewing some of the things we've learned in math, 
we're really focusing on fractions this week. And so we're going to create fractions today with one of our centers. And then we're also reviewing some of the things we've learned in math. So we're doing three-digit place value. We're doing comparing numbers. We're doing equality. So we're going to review all of these topics that we've learned, too. I need us to sit in a circle. Alright my friends, so for this station we're going to be using the code and go mice. Can you do you mind handing me the mats please? The chocolate mats. There we go. And because this is a root transformation, all of our math centers are candy themed to bring candy land to life in our classroom. So here we have the code and go mice. And we also have a poster here that has all of the functions of our mice and we have practiced this before but if you need a little refresher you may go ahead and look at this so our job is to work together or collaboratively with our partner and we are going to pull equations we're going to take turns doing that and we're going to find the matching equation on our chocolate mat so this equation says 12 plus 2. And let's think in our brains, what is 12 plus 2? Yes, dear. 14. So then we want to look on our mat. Hmm. Which one of those equations is equivalent or the same as 12 plus 2? Kinda. 14 plus 1. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and place my card here so that I know where to code my mouse. I'm going to push it on. Oh. We're gonna press, we're gonna put it on start, and then we're gonna think about how are we gonna code that mouse to get over there. And we're working on using the shortest destination. If we would like to use the mouse cards, we may also use those as well. We also have a hundred chart and a dry erase board as well. Any questions on this one? Brown. Um, what about, what about um, if you like, if there's, well, we have the same amount of cards as there are equations on the board, so you won't have more. Okay? All right. Can we hand me number two? All right, number two, we have our sweet swamp. Remember, the directions are here in case we forget, we can look. So this one, we are playing by ourselves. We have our mat, we get our little bear, and our dice. We roll our dice. We move that number of spots. When we land on the equation, we have to look and see if it has the right answer. Is it true or false? So this one says 12 minus 6 equals 6. So let's think for a moment. Does 12 minus 6 really equal 6? Nora? Yes. Yes. So that's true. So on my recording page, I will record that under the true side. So I will write 12 minus 6 equals 6. If it was false, I would put it on the false side. If we land on a false one, what could we do as a challenge? Henry? Yes, we could put the real answer under it. That's awesome. Every time we record an equation on our paper, we need to put our little counter on one of our circles. And when we fill up all of our circles, then that's when it's over. If we need help figuring out what the answers are, there are extra counters in here, and we can do that. We can also use our hundreds chart that's in here if we need some help. Questions on number two? Awesome. All right, number three. Kendra, will you hand it to us? All right, number three is our Candyland review game. So we have our Candyland board. 
And we have our little gingerbread men. Instead of using the regular Candyland cards though, we have our math Candyland cards. So our place value. So who remembers what the squares mean? Um, Brianna. How long you can do? Right, so if I have a yellow square, that means I move to the first yellow square I see. What if I have a double one? Samuel. I thought we go two times. Right. We're gonna go to that orange and the red one. Right, we can move one, two, if I had a double orange. We have to get the answer right in order to stay there. So the first one says, what is the value of the underlined number? And the number is 56, and that five is underlined. So how much is that five worth? is that five worth? Sophie? 50. 50. So Sophie got it right. She can stay there. What if she got it wrong? She would, she, go back where she, she would go back to where she was. And will we, do we help each other figure out the correct answer if we get it wrong? Yes. Good job. Right. Questions on this one? <coughs> All right. Number four. Kim, that's right in front of you. Number four. At this station, we get to engage in a STEAM challenge. So the makers of Candyland are going to make a new game, and they want you to design a new gingerbread house. Because we've been learning about fractions, we're going to have certain fraction requirements in our gingerbread house, and we also have a budget of $100 to purchase our materials. At this station, we're going to be doing the first part of the STEAM process which is asking, brainstorming, and designing. And then we're going to do the creation activity later in the day. All right, and the last one, number five, this one's on the computer, and it's on Book Creator. And if we need to put the code in, it's on the directions to get onto our, um, our site. So we are making fractions with candy. What fractions do we need to do first? Kinda. The fractions that are on the Exactly, the fractions that are on the card. So we need to do one half, one third, one fifth, one sixth, and one eighth. We need to do those fractions on the card first. And remember, there are three things we have to have on our page. We need to have a picture of the fraction. We need to have the fraction, so we need to write what fraction we're showing, and we need to have a sentence explaining the fraction. And remember, we're going to use the candy to make our fractions. Are we eating this candy? No. No, we're not. So we will decide what candies we want to use. We'll lay them out. We'll take our picture. So I have three candies. One is a Kit Kat. So what would my fraction for Kit Kats be? What fraction of the candies are Kit Kats? Kinda. One third. One third, very good. So I would write that fraction, take the picture, and then I would have a sentence explaining it. When I'm done with all of those fractions on the card, then I can work on my cover. Questions? Brianna. What if I'm having trouble? If you're having trouble getting on the site, you can ask somebody in your group or you can ask me because I will be right near you. Okay? And friends, while we're in our centers, not only are we working on math, but we're working on other skills. We're learning to be communicators because we need to talk with our group, right? We're learning to be collaborators. We're going to work with our partners and we're going to work together to support each other and help each other when needed. We're being critical thinkers. Like, for example, when we have to think about our fractions, we're using our brain to think about what kinds of fractions we're going to make using the candy. We're being creative thinkers, like when we, when we make the gingerbread house, right? So, so many different things that we're incorporating in our math stations today.
design brief. Let's look at our criteria. Our criteria tells us what our gingerbread house has to have. So you can follow along with me. The first one is our gingerbread house has to stand on its own. That means it can hold upright, not leaning against anything. It has to fit our gingerbread man. And here is our gingerbread man. So does our house need to be very big? Yes. Just to fit the gingerbread man, right? And let's look at the next part. We have to stay within our budget of $100. So here are our list of supplies. And it says the prices on there. And after we do our designing, we're going to go ahead and calculate all the prices to make sure that we stayed within that $100 budget. We also have to have some fractions on our gingerbread house because isn't that what we've been learning about lately? So half of the door must be what? What do we see? Red. Red, very good. Thank you for coming to Candyland. Go Rays! 